All right, this is our partner P and F stretch. First thing that we want to do, our first stretch is straighten out that knee here. And then this is an active stretch. This, this guy should not be passive. He should not be relaxed when we're doing this until we tell him to be there, okay? That's important, okay? So the first thing he's going to do, we're going to kind of get him to a tight spot and then he's going to try to push back down, okay? Always keeping that leg straight, all right? We're going to do three sets of five or three reps of five seconds a piece. Ready? And push. Two, three, four, five. Relax. It's important when you relax that you don't relieve the tension. Got to have the tension on that. Once he breathes out, we're going to keep, get a little bit more tension on him. He's going to do it again. Ready? Go. One, two, three. Four, five, relax, keep that tension. He'll breathe in, breathe out. And he wants to be very uncomfortable here and push. One, two, three, four, and five. Now you're gonna bend that knee. This is number two on the list, bent knee. All right, ready, and push. One, two, three, four, five, relax. Keep that tension. And all you're gonna do is kind of feel where the tightness is, and then he'll tell you, you don't, he doesn't want to bring that knee all the way back down. He doesn't want to do the leg curl here. He just wants to push back here. We're, we're just targeting the high hamstring here. Ready? And go. One, two, three, four, five, and number three. A little bit more tension, and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Now knee out. This is groin area here. He's going to push in. It's important that he keeps his back hip on the ground, and we're just going to apply some extra pressure so he does that. Ready? Squeeze. One. He's going to try to squeeze that leg coming in here, okay? Go. One, two, three, four, five, relax. He'll breathe out. You'll feel it relax a little bit, and he'll go again. Go. One, two, three, four, five, relax. And go. One, two, three. Four and five. All right. Next one. Number four on the list. This is number four on the list. We go ankle inside the framework of the body. The knee is the outside framework of the body. We're working glutes and abductors here. Okay. So 90 degree angle in the knee. And all he's going to do is try to push this whole foot back down. Apply pressure where I'm pushing. And push. One, two, three. Four, five, relax. All he has to do is apply two or three pounds. It doesn't have to be 100% here. Push, one, two, three, four, five, relax. A little bit more pressure and go. One, two, three, four, and five. Next one up, knee inside the framework of the body. You're gonna apply pressure to the outside part of the knee and the ankle's gonna be outside here, okay? And push, one, two, three, four, Five, relax. You just find the tension there and go. One. All right, so we are going to right leg on his knee, upper thigh here, and then I'm going to step out right up under his back heel, and he's going to try to squeeze his legs together with his shoulders on the ground. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, and five. Relax. A few more inches here and go. One, two, three, four. Five, relax, breathe, there you go, and go. One, two, three, four, and five, all right? So we'll go and do the right leg. After we do the right leg, we're gonna spin around on his stomach and get those hip flexors. All right, uh, we'll go here. A little bit different view, all right? So. Remember, he's going to apply pressure here. It's important that that knee doesn't come out. I stay aligned with the hip, okay? A little bit of tension here, and then all we're going to do is pick that leg up, okay? Make sure the hip doesn't come off the ground. He's going to push down. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Breathe in, breathe out. And then push again. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. And push. One. Two, three, four, five. And that is it for the partner PNF. Thank you, Kyle.